The next question is, when do you use an ampersand? This symbol here is called an ampersand. This here, you've seen this before. I'm sure you've used it. What does that mean? It means and, right? A-N-D. When should you write and, and when should you write the ampersand? Let's take a look at an example here. As Kortines and Sposnik, 2003, demonstrated, and as has been shown by Zhurnsk and Sorbim, 2007, the outcome is highly variable. Here we have an ampersand, and here we have an and. What's the difference? The difference is the parentheses. When your citation is inside the parentheses, you must use the ampersand. When your citation is outside the parentheses, you must use the and. So our parentheses on the first one is just the year. So here we use A and D. The second time, however, is inside the parentheses with a comma. You see the comma there. So this is the author list, comma, and we have an and. Ampersand, I'm sorry, ampersand. Okay. Again, this is a great example of the APA's rules. They are very clear and precise. They are very easy to follow once you know them. But if you did not know that, you would be writing an ampersand sometimes, sometimes using an and, or you might think it's whenever you want to, when it's convenient to save space or make it easy to read. That is not true at all. There is a rule for that. So I like to think in APA style guide, there's always a rule for that. Everything has a rule. You just need to find the rule. What if we have six or more authors? If you have six or more, even the first time inside the paper, you can use at all. So here is an example of a long list of authors, right? So we have one, two, three, four, five, six authors there. And here we have one, two, three, four, five, six authors here. How would you cite this? Well, like this. Koslin, Koning, Barrett et al. And Koslin, Koning, Gabriel et al. Here we have the perfect situation that we just talked about. Koslin, Koning, Barrett. Right here is where the names are different. Koslin, Koning, and Gabriel. Gabrielli. Right there is different. So we need to cite them all the way up to the time that they're different. Now, if you have six authors or more, you always use at all, even the first time. However, it doesn't matter if it's the first time or the second time or the third time, you must be able to tell that the papers are different. So even if there's 50 authors or 100 authors, you must list all of the authors until you get to the one that's different. So in this case, Barrett, and in this case, Gabrielli. You must list it out. And that will be the first time and every time, even in the case when there's so many authors.